Dr. Mist. Dr. Mist was a pretty edgy doctor that always wore this gas mask and dark clothing. He would cure dangerous diseases and illnesses, deadly or not. He would always have the right syringe to get the job done. But the way he would cure them is questionable. Their syringes contained different liquids of different colors, and he also had pills that he would use rarely. He never failed to cure the ones that needed it, but he has been blamed for causing a strange dark mist in the middle of the night. The mist would hide all the lights, making neighborhoods pitch black. The humanoid beings that walks with the mist does look like him with his syringe belt. However, this humanoid figure can become one with the mist to attack unsuspecting victims. He only attacks people carrying diseases without asking them. The victims would be punctured by a syringe and they would feel intense pain and die in a matter of a minute. To him, the only cure was death. Sometimes he would be seen floating, defying the laws of gravity. Also, the glasses on the mask show two empty sockets replacing the eyes. Every time someone would die from him, he would be pronounced dead by natural means, and no signs of infection would be found. He likes to appear near abandoned hospitals with tragic backstories and many deaths. If you are not infected, he will say you're not infected and goodbye, politely, and the mist will vanish with him. Nobody ever captured footage of him or was able to take a picture of him. The mist would cause hallucinations to anyone that approaches, except for the ones who are infected by a disease or the one wearing a full anti-poison suit. With only a mask, you would get hallucinations anyways. So it counts as some sort of urban legend to help with social distancing. But my little brother has a similar experience a few months ago where a man was staring at him and his face morphed into a gas mask. His clothing was dark and he didn't move a muscle. My brother slowly approached him with a knife he got from the kitchen. The strange being was multiplying. My little brother was hallucinating, but this didn't stop him from scarring whatever that man was. He screamed to him to leave. Knife aimed straight to its eyes. However, instead of running away, the man removed the mask, exposing his skull. Some green liquid oozed from its eyes, mouth, and nose. My little brother screamed and woke us up. We all arrived in his room, and his window was opened, but the man was gone. He could have died that day. I'm thankful that he lived a healthy life.